Hey y'all, Paint Marine here, back again with another Kill Team Focus. Now, I'm making this with the uh, Kill Team Focus is on Death Watch today, which I'm pretty excited to talk about and get into as uh, I've started my own little side project, uh, uh, Death Watch Primary Squad that I've been doing to kind of ally in with my Star Commanders Force here and there, and plus it's just, it's fun to paint, it's uh, just different, get into the making a bunch of different chapters um, and as I'll share as I do that project more like each chapter I've selected for this initial kill team has really some kind of significant importance in my life in the hobby um, from the Blood Ravens member being really my first introduction to 40k like I and even then I, I had no clue um, when I was playing Dawn of War that this was a tabletop game until uh, it was like 2009, I think, when Dawn of War 2 came out. I was playing it, and a roommate at the time was like, hey, you know, that's a tabletop game. I was like, okay. So we went and checked out the local hobby shop, and sure enough, there's people playing it. And I'm just like, oh, psh, there's no way. Like, it looks great. It looks awesome. I'd love to, but I can't paint like that. Like, that's not even. And really, like, at the end of the day, I think then 2012 or 2011, maybe, is when... Uh, I decided to buy my first models after going to another uh, local gaming store that at the area I was living at then and seeing people play and uh, I think someone was playing this tower I mean it just was beautiful it was all white and it was just like pristine and just I was like wow and this was uh, right at the tail end of 5th edition I believe it was um, and yeah and then anyway he had like crazy drone spam everywhere it was just um ton of drones and like some hammerheads and stuff um but anyway yeah so death watch let's jump in this let's see what they got to offer here um i already kind of gone over this a little bit and i mean we'll get to it i'm a little disappointed in the troop choices but at the same time there's not a lot to choose from anyway for units in the death watch because they are like an elite separate kind of group but anyway we'll get into that so we spent our last two kill team focuses looking at the foul Xenos, but what about slaying them? Fear not, Faithful One, the Death Watch are at hand as bold innovators who will fight and kill teams before it was cool. They're a worthy choice for those looking for an elite and adaptable force uh, for their games of skirmish warfare. So why play Death Watch? Death Watch veterans are the single most customizable unit in kill team. With a single kit, you're able to build anything from heavy weapon troops and backfield snipers to melee juggernauts, even their bolters can fire several types of special issue ammunition. Small and perfectly formed, Death Watch kill teams have a tiny model count, making them easy to collect and paint. If you're looking for a small, specialized kill team that maintains flexibility, these are the guys for you. Honor the chapter, and then Prince of Season S, so honor the chapter, chapters. Uh, building a Death Watch kill team is super rewarding from the perspective of lore. You'll be able to go to town trying each space marine, or tying each space marine to their individual chapter, which is definitely something, like I said, like with my primary kill team I've been putting together, I've tried to individually add little bits and things here and there to each model or specializing, like picking their, their role, the weapons that they're carrying, just to fit um, their chapter more. Um, like, for an example here right now, I don't know if you can see him very well, I have my... Uh, Space Marine Death Watch brother Dedicus Rex <laughs> uh, of the Death Specters. Um, but also to go along with that, um, kind of building up my well, shoulder pads done. I need to finish the rest of it. I've got most of it kind of shaded and stuff, but there we go. As you can see here, if it will focus on him, my uh, anyway. Red Scorpion, Kill Team, Intercessor member, but he's also carrying some gear that's the very Apothecary type, and his helmet as well. Even though he's not in the Apothecary role, I wanted to um, still customize him. Like, you know what, like, he still kind of, like, has that part of him because um, Red Scorpions, like, their sergeants of their squads and stuff are all Apothecaries as well. Um, and we're still waiting on those Forge World update rules for those Badab chapters and other chapters like that. But anyway, so definitely I'm excited uh, 
just in general, I like. I think that's one of the things that appeals me to the Death Watch is you can start to tie in like a whole lot of different chapters into one thing. So, all right. So the units we have Death Watch veterans. Death Watch veterans can be equipped with pretty much anything, with all sorts of eccentric war gear like Death Watch shotguns, Death Watch frag cannons, heavy thunder hammers, and more. Uh, intercessors combined with special issue ammunition. Death Watch intercessors can adapt to slay any foe. And Reavers, these guys are nearly as shooty as Intercessors, as well as boasting some mobility, boasting war gear, and deadly powerless and co close combat. So, um, for me, like I said, like right now, it's like kind of a little disappointing that really, like, we only have three choices. Um, and then because, you know, myself, personally, I've only, um, I, I have, I still have plenty of sprues and kits because when uh, Overkill came out, I think I traded, the other, I bought like three boxes of the stuff and traded like the Gene Stealers with like two other people or three other people. And so I got like tons of uh, extra. But anyways, um, so I could always make Death Watch Veterans, although I just like the look and the aesthetics now of the Primaris stuff. Um, so if I was to try to keep my kill team purely Primaris, um, I have Intercessors and Reavers, and as of right now, I only have one Reaver made up for my kill team and five Intercessors, because then I have uh, an Inceptor and an Aggressor, and then my, well, my converted Watch, Primaris Watch Captain, um, which kind of looks like a Watchmaster, but it's just because he has the Guardian Spear and everything, but he's a Watch Captain. Um... But that's, you know, can't bring him, and can't bring the Aggressors or Intercessor. Uh, I also have a Hellblaster as well in there, which, again, they're not available. Um, so, yeah, so, basically, as of right now, I have a six-man kill team. I'm not sure points-wise or points-cost, like, what that'll end up, if that's too much, too little. Um, but I do feel like Reavers are going to potentially be the way to go. Um, because as long as they can take special issue ammunition, I don't, I'm not sure if they can, though, honestly. I'd have to look because they have bolt carbines, and most everything refers to bolt guns and bolt rifles. But then also I've seen, like, you know, it might say keyword bolt. So I'll have to review that again, um, because if, you, if they can, I feel like Reavers are probably going to be the way to go with those bolt carbines and grapple hooks. Um, they're going to be fast moving, and they can shoot and wound a lot of things, taking different ammunition like they can. Um, I mean, intercessors are nice. You, you know, throw someone with a stalker bolt rifle and make that your sniper and just don't have a move a ton. And then with special issue ammunition, like can put them in cover somewhere and just be sniping people would be kind of a cool thing. Um, so, I mean, there's, I mean, there's some options there, I guess, but we won't really know until, um, the full rules are out and we can actually dive in deeper and see what we can do. All right. So the tactics, rival chapters, nothing like a bit of friendly rivalry bitter bitter uh centuries old and to uh sorry I lost my spot uh, pair up so pair up two heavy weapon wielding gunners and turn their bickering into valuable rerolls so rival chapters use this chat use this tactic when a model from your kill team is chosen to attack in the shooting phase or fight phase whilst there is another model from your kill team within two inches of it until the end of the phase reroll hit rolls of one for both models. That's one command point. And then we have the decapitation doctrine. Struggling with enemy leaders? Not anymore. Just having this tactic ready to go will force your enemy to think twice about putting their precious leader in harm's way. So decapitation doctrine, use this tactic when a model from your kill team is chosen to attack in the shooting or fighting phase. Tell the end of the phase, reroll failed wound rolls for that model that target an enemy leader. All right, and then we have a getting started. A Death Watch veteran set is an ideal place to start or to place. Ah, excuse me. A Death Watch veteran set is an ideal place to kick off your kill teams, allowing you to arm five space marines with huge variety of advanced war gear and offering you loads of shoulder pads, guns, and accessories to spice up the rest of your collection. Alternatively, go full Primaris and grab a set of ancestors along with some Death Watch upgrades. And then come back tomorrow for our next kill team focus, looking at the iconic and lethal adversary to the Death Watch, the Enigmatic Harlequins. So, 
Um, yeah, so like I said, I feel like I kind of talked this one through pretty well. Uh, excited to see what the Death Watch have to offer. Like, as I'll have a kill team that will be painted and ready to go on that aspect for the Death Watch. So, yeah, it's definitely excited about seeing what, what they go or what they do with that. Um, yeah, so, all right. Well, again, hopefully you're enjoying this video, this series, um, and the channel in general. Check out the other videos I've done and am doing. If you have any comments, questions, um, suggestions, whatever, definitely post them up here or go over to my Facebook uh, group or my Facebook page. And then uh, definitely like and subscribe so you can stay up to date and uh, what what's going on. All right, well, uh, until next time then.